Hey everyone, it's Tommy from Tech Nexus, and thanks for joining me on a new week of videos. For this week, I wanted to have a look at doing uh, some plant cats and specs, but in particular, I wanted to focus on custom parts. Now, as part of that procedure, I thought I might extend it out into building these parts in Fusion and then exporting them out for Plant 3D to use as custom. So this is a custom valve um, that I've just got uh, a couple views of. So I've got the top, uh, I've got the right hand side view and I've got the front view. Now the right hand side view is important to me because then I can grab the diameters from here. Um, and then just basically extrude uh, circles from that. So there's a couple ways of doing that. Um, what we can do is, so with the sketching tools, so I wanna sketch on this face, and then I can use just normal line commands to sketch out this body here. So I can um, just keep going. Okay, and then come through and then come up, sketch a line. And I'm just going to do the body, I'm not going to do this bottom part here. Just going to look at that later. Cross and then come back up and then let's go back up here and close it all off. Okay, and once we stop the sketch and I turn that right hand view off, we've got uh, basically that face there. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to drop that down and I want to. Uh, trim some of these as well. So just use the trim command. Oops, not want that one. Undo that. I want to trim that one. And then I want to delete. Okay, so there's the boundary for my revolve command. Okay, so really we come up to create and go revolve. So that's the profile that we select. The axis is this line here. And you can see Fusion is showing me uh, the result and I go okay. Okay, so there's the result of the base of that body. And then we can do the same with um, this part of the body here. So these bolts aren't going to be included. So we can just do the same thing, go sketch. So create a sketch and then come through and I'm just going to hide the body of the other one. Do the same thing and what we could do here, we could in theory do a rectangle but let's just do the, again the same uh, line command. So I'm going to extend it somewhere down to here because I want the body to, the two bodies to, to merge together. So then I come up, run the line to here and then from here across and then do the same thing run the line command from over here you can see fusion finds the snaps and then there okay and then stop the sketch actually what I want to do I need to edit that sketch and I actually want to draw a line through the middle because we're going to do the same thing we're going to revolve it okay and then I want to do some trimming okay that's that's more like what I want so I have this region here okay go back over and then let's turn the bodies back on you can see we've got the main body there and I'm going to revolve this one as a uh, let's just keep it as a new body so the profile is this the axis is this line 
Okay, so we want to turn the body back on and we want to join them. Go OK. If I turn the sketches off, then you can see we're starting to make progress with that valve. Okay, so what we're going to do tomorrow, that's that's all we're going to do for today. Tomorrow we're going to have a look at these flanges and this, this hand wheel and the bottom of this here. So I'm going to make this like a... Uh, I might make it like a sphere or something and then join it all up and then you can see we're going to get all of these nice, uh, if I turn all of these sketches off, we're going to get some nice uh, forms in here and then eventually we're going to bring this into Plant 3D as a custom valve. So hopefully it's been informative for you for Fusion and Plant 3D. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Fusion which eventually leads us into Plant 3D CADS and Specs. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.